and a potential closeout game here tonight. It's 3-0, advancement to round two in the Eastern Conference at State. And tonight we'll see the Toronto Raptors as they go up against the Philadelphia 76ers. This is Brian Anderson with Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill and giving us the rundown from the sidelines, reporter Allie LaForce. Allie, it's all yours. Brian, as the NBA pivots away from the post and towards the perimeter, we're seeing more teams employ three-guard lineups to great effect, trading some size for skill. We'll see if the trend continues, but guys, for now, it seems that even if there's only one ball, having multiple ball handlers can be very effective. Very interesting, Allie. Good stuff there. Thank you. You take a look at Toronto. They're on the brink of elimination here tonight. You know, it's interesting. I mean, they've been pushed around and exposed in this series. This is a good chance for them to save face with a win. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. Thibel and Harris, the three and the four. James Harden out there with Tyrese Maxey. And it's Embiid in at the five. And for the Raptors, Barnes is down low with Siakam. Van Vliet and Trent Jr. at the guard spots. And it's Ananobi in at the three spot. Here's Van Vliet. After the Sixers picked up a basket a moment ago. Here's Barnes into the lane. No luck on that one. Oh, great D that time from Harris. Here's Maxi, And the shot goes. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. We talk about Embiid's surge in production, but it doesn't end there. He said, I want to push my teammates to be better and lead by example. Tybal, that's good. Hey, good to get him going right away. I mean, those are the shots that really boost confidence. Perhaps he's set for a big night. I mean, he can be a difference maker for him when he's on his game. Trent, good. And Van Vliet gets the assist. And many great players eventually realize that we is greater than me. Yeah, Embiid's main point to this team is play the right way because that's what you can control. He is intelligent, vocal, and selfless. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Out of bounds. It'll be Philadelphia's ball. And some changes here for the Raptors. Achua comes in for Pascal Siakam. And Mikhail Luke subbed in for Trent. And the 76ers will have a different look here. Millsap, he's checked in for Embiid. Niang comes in for Harris. Green's checked in for Thibel. And Korkmaz is subbed in for Maxi. Millsap outside. Over Achua. A nice shot by Millsap. And I think this is where Millsap is most effective. Close to the rim. He has a commanding presence. Van Vliet on the wing. Defended by Harden. And Danny Green gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Birch, he's checked in for Toronto. Flynn comes in for Van Vliet. There's 57 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Ananobi passes to Achua. Shot clock at six. Over to the wing. Here's Mikhailuk. Nails it from three. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Here's Korkmaz. Pass to Millsap. Here's Niang. Here's Korkmaz. Another three for Philadelphia. Wow. On fire. They haven't missed a shot so far. Now here's Ananobi. Here's Flynn. And Millsap pulls it down. Outside, Green. Millsap outside. Green in the post. Shoots over Ananobi. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter.
Great shot selection right now. Keeping the game simple and getting high percentage looks. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. And you ask Joel Embiid, he's not satisfied with the way he's playing recently. I think I need to, you know, be more aggressive. Um, you know, just look to impose myself, just look to dominate. I guess I need to go back to having fun and just dominate. Then. Uh, I guess the process continues, Grant. And with big men, it's got to be a team effort. You got to feed him the rock, B.A. inside and help him get it going. And we welcome you back to Game 4, folks. Thanks for joining us. And looking at what we've seen from the Sixers, what do you guys think? They're They're off to a rock-solid start. They brought a well-thought-out plan into this one. Yeah, you know what? Makes it really easy for the coaching staff in that case. No adjustments needed. Just keep on keeping on. So on the floor for Philadelphia, the dynamic duo of Harris and Embiid at the four and the five. Green out there with Tyrese Maxey. And it's Niang in at the three slot. Hard to think of a player who's transformed more than Van Vliet. Undrafted, spent some time in the G League. Now he's a primary catalyst for his team. And it's the Raptors with the ball, following the score by Philadelphia. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Embiid's got his fourth rebound in this one. Harris goes in. Rebound by Van Vliet. A true all-around talent. Van Vliet gives you the big things and all the little things as well, Grant. Well, you talk about the points, the assists, but look at the rebounding and the steals and the charges he takes. I mean, he's a glue guy and a star. It's very difficult to slow him down defensively, especially when you have communication problems. Pass to Maxi. Embiid is screen on Van Vliet. Outside, green. And the 76ers, another three. This is why Green's got a few rings now. He stretches defenses out with his shooting, really helps your offense with its spacing because of that. Now here's Barnes. He takes it in. And so the ball out of bounds. Embiid touched it last. And some changes here for the Raptors. Boucher's checked in for Young. And it's Ananobi in for Barnes. The 76ers making a switch here. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Six on the shot clock. Boucher a screen on Harden. Three-pointer Van Vliet sinks the tray. Van Vliet's got his first three points of the game. That is his shot, guys. So you can't just give it to him. You've got to get up on him and get into his airspace there. Here's Embiid. And the 76ers tack on two more. He's just too big, too powerful, too skilled. Not worried about whoever's defending him at all. Siakam, the pass to Van Vliet. To the middle. Banked it in off the glass. Van Vliet's got five points now this quarter. And you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. And here's Harden. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Pass to Harris. Outside Harden. Off the mark there with a three. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers closing out the quarter ahead by 11 points. 
A big difference in shooting percentages. That's why they lead. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. I'm here with Nick Nurse, and Coach, I saw you imploring your team to pick it up. Where do you need to be better in the second half? Well, we're not very good uh, offensively right now. I think we're taking some okay shots, but we got to be a little bit more patient and keep moving it around a little bit. Need multiple paint touches rather than just one. So we just got to do a little bit better job of getting off it and relocating a little bit. Patience is a virtue. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Allie. After the break, we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three. And we thank you for joining this postseason broadcast, and it's been an outstanding first half for the Philadelphia 76ers. Well, they've shown a lot of discipline at the offensive end. It's not about getting a quick shot. It's about getting the good shot. And if you want to know how that approach is working, just check out their field goal percentage. Taking a look at how the series is going for the Raptors. Trailing three games to none in this series. What do you think, Kenny? One, two, three, Cancun? Uh, not necessarily, Ernie. But they've got to consider Costa Rica as well, though. I hear the forest there are spectacular. But serious, they don't want to get swept. Let's see if these guys can pull it off from here. Then I'm headed to the Yosemite. Uh, maybe that's Yosemite? <laughs> No, Yosemite was Sam. This is the Yosemite. <laughs> Please tell me what it's like. <laughs> and thanks for sticking with us as this round one game continues. What else can you say? Joel Embiid. An impressive effort here today. Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for them. And then, of course, executing. You know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. Great to have you with us again as we return to our coverage of round one. Van Vliet and Trent Jr. at the guard spots. Barnes is down low with Siakam, and it's Ananobi in at the three. The small forward. That's the five out there for the Raptors. Pass to Maxi. And for players these days, a lack of shooting can be a big hindrance. Grant, would you be more concerned by struggles from the perimeter or the free throw line? I'd be more concerned with struggles at the free throw line. I mean, if you struggle there, you can become very, very tentative out there on the court, and opponents can foul to force your hand. And he drops the first. Both good from the line that time. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. Tries a 10-footer. Barnes, no good. Philadelphia has gone three of four from distance in this game. You know, many people refer to Embiid as the best big in the league right now, and largely because there isn't a hole in his game. I mean, he does a lot of everything, and as big as he is, his agility and shooting touch is off the charts. And then Siakam with the jam. Driving in, Siakam can be such a menace for the defense. Hard to get in the way of his physicality. Philadelphia has gone four or five from outside the arc in this one. Here's Embiid. And the 76ers tack on two more. And Clark, you look at the evolution of Embiid's game. Really speaks to his intense work ethic. I agree with you because he's had several injuries now, and yet he has not wasted that time rehabbing because he's developed his skills in the process. He said surgeries after surgeries at some point I wanted to quit but his heart was too big for that and his game is showing the fruit of his work. And what's working here each guy is time willing out, to out. make the next pass.
So Toronto going with almost an entire new group here. Birch, he's checked in for Pascal Siakam. Achua comes in for Barnes. Mikhailuk's checked in for Trent. And it's Flynn in for Fred Van Vliet. And the 76ers will have a different look here. Millsap, he's checked in for Joel Embiid. Niang comes in for Harris. Green's checked in for Thibel. And Korkmaz is subbed in for James Harden. A minute 15 left in the third quarter. They must have fallen asleep defensively. How else do you explain an easy dunk right off the inbounds pass? Millsap inside. He's guarded by Birch. Green for three. And the 76ers another three. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. Fifty-one seconds left in the third quarter. Pass to Makai Luke. Here's Flynn. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Here's Korkmaz. And he converts the layup. And right now, that's five buckets in a row. Looking like a well-oiled machine coming out of the break. That's going to be over and back. Not watching the line on that one. That's a costly error. Now let's see how they bounce back. Well, you know what? Their wounds are self-inflicted. I mean, you've got to play much smarter than that. Three-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Outside for Green. Fires the three. Rebounded by Birch. And it'll be on the wing. Here's Mikhailuk. And again, Toronto no good. Here's Green. And he can't get that one. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers with a commanding 22-point lead going into the break. It hasn't taken them too many shots to get their points. They're winning with efficiency. We'll be right back after this word. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. Now, I know he's a big man, but he's got some point guard in him if he's making passes like this. Hey, that was a high-level pass no matter what position it came from. But it does make it stand out a little more when it's made by the big fella. Thanks for joining us again for round one of the NBA playoffs. And the 76ers, looking at who they've got. Harris and Embiid, the big men inside. James Harden out there with Green. And it's Thibel in at the three. Now here's Van Vliet. And it's Harris with the rebound. Here's Harden. Toronto grabs the miss. Well, he just hasn't found his rhythm tonight, partly because he's gotten fewer touches. Incredibly light-footed at seven feet tall. Embiid can cover a lot of ground defensively. And then Harden with the jam. Oh, that was nasty. A two-hand mega slam. Man, I don't think anyone was going to stop him there. Well, guys, I'm glad they didn't try because I don't want anybody to get hurt out there. Now here's Barnes. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. Oh, just an easy reverse for him. He has nice feel and touch around the bucket. Pass to Embiid. From the low block. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. You know, every year Embiid seems to kick his scoring up just a notch. He, I think he realizes how dominant he can be. Here's Siakam. Count it. He does not lack for confidence, and he shouldn't. I mean, this guy is a dangerous scorer. The 76ers have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Embiid can't hit. The Raptors have gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. These guys really stepped up and played their hearts out to finish the series on their terms. So it's going to be on to the next round for the 76ers.
Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. They just own this series from the start. A clean sweep and a dominant showing from them. Yes, yeah, super impressive. They took a hold of this series from the jump and just never took their foot off the accelerator. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for Joel Embiid. We saw him get a lot of touches tonight, and he wasted very few of them. Really made himself the backbone of their offense. Unfortunately for them, they're still going to come up short. You wish they'd shown this kind of fight earlier. Yeah, you know, I agree with you. They waited too long to finally ramp themselves up. And dominating at a mid-major university. Some scouts question Siakam's level of competition during the 2016 draft process, especially since his numbers were so good. A big group substitution here for Toronto. Birch, he's checked in for Barnes. Young comes in for Achua. Makai Luke's checked in for Trent. And it's Flynn in for Fred Van Vliet. Two shots. First one falls for him. An incredibly improved player. Pascal Siakam scored just four points a game as a rookie, then seven in his second year. But Siakam worked hard, becoming an all-star in year four, almost scoring 23 per game. And the 76ers making a change here. Millsap, he's checked in for Embiid. Niang comes in for Harris. Korkmaz is checked in for Thibel. And it's Maxi in for Green. Siakam hits them both. Now Philadelphia with it. They have a 19-point lead. Harden with it. Pass to Niang. Outside Harden. Six to shoot. Here's Niang. The three is up. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. They've won it. Next stop, conference semifinals. And they delivered an epic performance, sweeping this best of seven series. That's what you want to do. Get out of the first round as quickly as possible. Now the road gets a little harder. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. James, this team seems to be clicking. What's been the key lately? Uh, we're just more aggressive. More aggressive. Uh, guys are getting it, and we're playing much harder. It's a good win for us. Continue to build and continue to keep our swag up. Uh, um, great team effort for us. It's up to you to keep them aggressive. Congrats on the win. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. For Ali LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching the NBA, brought to you by 2K Sports. And now we present the New Balance player of the game, Joel Embiid.